Hello Tubesers, for the 175th time I'm trying to do this, uh, it's a very, very brief, it's Gav, it probably won't be that brief, but uh, I'll save you from the video I've just done about it. Uh, this is the Linux Products Multi-Angle Guillotine. I uh, saw a guy um, in a, on a modelling channel using a guillotine cutting plas uh, plastic card, styrene sheet, whatever you want to call it, and uh, thought, great product that. Uh, and as usual, pitched up modellers, price goes Phew! and I thought, not a chance. I even looked at it to make my own because it was MDF and, and angle, uh, aluminium angle, bolted to it and all the rest of it. Um, and I just thought, you know, oh, one day, uh, never have done obviously, uh, until I came again across the, the Linux products, multi-angled guillotine. Now, I'm on a budget always, and uh, I, I thought to myself a while ago, I'm, st I'm starting to do more of the scratch building. Uh, this is coming along slowly, but it's coming along. Uh, this is between 1 and 700 and 1 and 600 scale uh, Type 21 uh, frigate. I'd like to do these ships in 1 and 350 scale at Waterline, because I can't afford the Atlantic Models ones with all the resin and, and all that stuff. So I thought, I really like scratch building, I'm going to build my own. Uh, they'll still get money out of me because I need to buy the ship trainings and all that from them and stuff. Um, but I can't do a straight line to save me from my life. Uh, no, I'm not that bad, but it's not far off. Um, last night, yes, weather's awful over here at the moment, it does clear tomorrow. Um, and I'm, I'm measuring it against what's left of the lines on my cutting mat. Well, not measuring it, but using it as a straight edge to help me with my rule as well. And blah, blah, blah. And then start scoring, and it just, it goes, it, you know, blunts my tips of my scalpels really quick. Uh, so uh, I, I thought, I really wish I could have one of those those guillotines, you know, because it would, it would give me a straight edge every time. And I thought there must be. I wonder if you never know, Gav. Just go and look, mate. You know, because the crafters obviously use them. Uh, maybe they're cheaper. And they are. <laughs> hey, no fifty odd quid for for Gav and his. Uh, <laughs> um, and it's a British-made product as well. Uh, yes, the war in the Pacific starts here. We're taking back our own. Uh, the um, it's a, it's it's all plastic. Uh, don't expect a lot. Um, you're paying under 15 quid, but it works, and that's all I'm bothered about. Apologise for all the bad, all the noise and all that jet washing. He's going to get that shoved somewhere where he doesn't want jet washing uh, when I finish this video. Every time I make one. So yeah, let's just quickly go down, take a look. I'm just highlighting it, especially for the guys in the UK. If you do all these off cuts in here, but if you do plastic card, styrene sheet, whatever you make with it, and you want to cut cut it straight and this also does angles you can move it obviously in the 45 degrees and all that I've tr tried that um, it's a nice simple tool for under 15 quid on eBay that's where I found mine and it does what you want it to do uh, I don't know how far it'll go I'm not going to test it to destruction for you or anything like that so I've just tried it on some off cuts in my little off cut tub here um, all I want it to do, I can't even give you, I don't even know the thickness of the card, I've got to start, you know, head problems, I can't remember stuff, but, you know, it works for me anyway, it's not heavy duty, it's not one of these great big steel things that, you know, down and you can go through a centimetre of plastic, uh, but for just doing nice, thinnish cuts, I mean, it says on here, it did say on here, Ideal for balsa cutting, uh, doll's house making, mitre cutting, plastic slicing and model making. I'm going for the plastic slicing and the model making. Might do pepperoni and, uh, and salami as well, but uh, personally plastic slicing and model making for me. Unless you're making a pizza of course, then you might well do them sausages. Uh, so um, yeah, let's go down and take a look. Right guys, I'll make this quick because I'm running out of battery and patience. Uh, again, sorry for the bloke in the street somewhere. I don't know what it is about people and jet washers, but uh, 
they won't give up until every last speck of grime has been blasted by that precious water. Right, Gav, calm, calm. Uh, I'm just trying to find some off cuts as usual. I'm so well prepared here. That one will do as it's slightly thicker. So, feel the power of the of the guillotine. You watch it, ain't going to work now. I've got this at such an angle I can't even see where the heck I'm, uh, I'm cutting, but as you can see, the only thing I've got, it does say attach firmly to a a, um, a bench. Well, I can't do that because I work off the same cutting mat. Um, but there you go. You just snap it off like that and you've got yourself a straight cut. Um, if you move, I'm just going to pick a random angle here. Uh, there's a couple of little uh, marks on here which will give you your your angles. As I say, everything's very simplified on it, but it works. Simple, good. Especially in my. So as you can see, it will it will move up um, if it's not uh, attached. But I just can't attach it to anything. And now it's not going to go, is it? No, because I haven't done enough to it. Right. There we go, that's better. So, you know, you can get your angles. Uh, you, can make, you can take these red pieces off that give you your angles, as it says on these. It's very, I've got the shared instructions. You only get like a, that's all you need. Blah, blah, blah. I say I've got no connections to these guys whatsoever. Bought it with my own money off eBay. I just thought we're all after little, little. If it's too expensive in the modelling world, I go out looking for similar products used in other, I suppose, in some communities, whatever hobby groups or whatever. You know what they might use. And uh, as I say, this was under fifteen quid. Uh, we've got a flexes around. Let me just move that down for a second. But you can attach it, I believe. Um, could probably do with some rubber on the outside, but you're making it more expensive all the time. All I want it to do is to cut at an angle, and I'm happy with that. I can't attach it to a, my my workbench because I use this for painting and everything. This is why my cutting mat's always such a mess. But I just thought for under fifteen quid, um, I, I just think if you've if you've got that money in your pocket. And you've got a load of plastic <laughs> styrene sheet <laughs> you need cut in at different, you know, straights. Uh, and it's great for I cut this test piece when I first got it. I mean, it's only a tiny little piece. Um, but I can at last get straight cuts, you know, and, and just brilliant. As long as I put the line that's straight as well. Like, but, you know, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm well made. I've actually got myself a little guillotine now. It's not going to be used all the time, so it's not going to wear out too quick. I'm quite sure you can get a whetstone and sharpen the blades yourself. Uh, you get two. I believe this other blade is um, uh, one's a flat sided and one's uh, sharpened on both sides. Uh, I'll, I'm not sure which would be work best for me, really. I've only just put this one in. But uh, as I say, heavy duty enough plastic. Yes, there's a bit of. And I think that is down to that. I might be able to push that in a bit closer at the bottom, I don't know. Um, yeah, there you go. Just thought you might be interested if you've got uh, if you've got that type of, you know, reason to be cutting plastic um, cards. I would have thought some very thin like copper, you know, that type of stuff. Um, you know, it's got this little square bit here, which is just hard plastic, but... I suppose you could put something else on, like a piece of cutting mat on it or something if you wanted to. Um, but then you'd be, the, yeah, then you might have to struggle with uh, those. But anyway, these come off as well as I said in the instructions if you want the whole to use the whole thing for some reason. But all I want it for is to cut small pieces of styrene sheet square or at angles without faffing around and. Uh, that does a job for me. So thanks a lot for stopping by and taking a look. Uh, I know it's a bit of a out there type video, uh, under a bit of pressure to, uh, well, not under pressure, putting pressure on myself with the, as I say, we've got horrible weather conditions, which thank goodness break tomorrow. And everybody's out there making a load of racket, but uh, 
yeah, I just thought um, it was such a handy little product. You know, you can um, stash it away. Um, I won't keep it on my bench under the room, but even then, it's you know that's my my hand. It's not big. Right, guys, coming up, I have um, well, I actually pre-filmed it, but I've um, I've got some stuff going up on eBay tonight, so um, I'll, t I'll be giving you a last look at the 40 millimeters. I've done the sergeant, so th that's all going to be one video tomorrow, and um, I've got some Warlord Epic 13 millimeter Napoleonics they'll be up on a video in the week as well uh, it's people don't have a lot of interest in my my scratch building the the ships I mean, my ships my ships anyway don't ever get really much interest that's not a bag you know i'm not really bothered <laughs> i've just put my videos up because i enjoy them um but i'll be doing a, an update on this at some stage uh, the weekend probably uh, because i am slow slow it doesn't look it but i am slowly getting a bit further forward with a got the uh deflector wings on the on the bridge done and the, I've got made a bridge as well it's just not stuck down at the moment but it's all for this type of work um, so uh, it come in handy might actually get a straight looking ship next time so look after yourselves um, well was, there was something else I was gonna put a video up on as well but it's completely forgot uh, where I am no it's gone so look after yourselves and uh, we'll catch each other soon on another video